what's going on guys and welcome back. Fans sent me this. Here, Chris, here's a box I've been producing for about two years. I'd give it a difficulty of level one or level fun. This is a puzzle box I've created. Two more in the works that are more difficult. So uh, the idea is that this is like a Ouija board box here, which is locked and you can hear there's some type of mechanism on the inside which moves around due to the magnets that are possibly in here. Now, he's given me the solution because it's not one of those where you have to figure it out and the solution is here and the code is key. K, E, Y, and then, oh, look at that. On the inside it says here, this is card carved by Light and Nicholas Sivak. He says, thank you for your stellar content, for exposing me and others to the puzzling subculture. I wouldn't be making these uh, had I not come across your channel some time ago. So very cool, guy starts watching videos on YouTube, ends up making puzzle boxes and starts a small business. I think that's really cool, I highly encourage that. So. Go check it out. All right, so for today's video, we're looking at a puzzle box by a creator that goes by the name of Kel Snake. He's made a few puzzle boxes. Uh, this one, I think, is like one of 10 or one of 15, or I thought it looked interesting and I haven't seen this before. Apparently, this puzzle box holds a surprise, and that's all I know about it. Also, wanted to take a second just to mention I was on Mr. Beast Rock, Paper, Scissors for charity this weekend, and wow, what an amazing experience. So, not only did Mr. Beast give $250,000 to charity, they ended up raising over one million dollars due to the donations of people watching so super awesome to be a part of that uh, very very happy that that went down so without any further ado let's take a look at this uh, puzzle box which goes by the name of Cripsis, by the way here we go this is the Cripsis puzzle by kelsnick i uh, bought this at an auction apparently they are not easy to come by it does have these little dangling things on the bottom which are attached they look like they're tied on to something here. I'm not sure what the purpose these serve. I'll leave them protruding in case turning these things kind of retracts them. We'll get to see that. So you have these knobs. This one is fixed into place. This one does not turn, but moves a little bit this way. And this one only on one side here can move. So here we go. Oh, let's <laughs> almost forgot you. Oh, see it moves here. Now this one is stuck. If I rotate it, I can pull it in and out. But if I rotate it here, it gets stuck. So I'll keep that there. This one will not move. This one as well does not move. There is, however, a latch on the bottom, uh, but there's a note saying that that's only for uh, resetting or something. It's not uh, part of the solution. So the solution is to open the top part. Still nothing here. Hmm. So the only things that move is this all the way in, all the way out. Or I twist it and it falls into this groove and now it gets stuck here. But either of those combinations does not move the other things, right? So I don't know where to go from here. This is the only other one that has a little bit of give is this one here, because this one is completely fixed into place. I'm sure if I can get this one to move that the box would probably open.
There's always a question of, did the wood warp? Because due to humidity, it, you know, with uh, wooden puzzles, I do have some puzzles that are actually stuck in place right now that I can't actually solve until I bring it into like either a drier or a more humid climate. So that always, it's sort of, it's always in my mind. Yeah, there's no amount of combinations here that I can do that would change anything. Oh, I've uncovered a spring, look. Oh, this comes out now, hello. Oh, and now this moves, hello. So by moving this halfway and then pulling it once it was in that groove, so there's this groove which is about here, and then by pulling through that while twisting, it it had some type of some type of spring which is right here. And the spring allowed me to move this. Whoa! Oh my god! <sighs> I literally just had a heart attack. Holy. Ah. Oh my God. Uh, there was a butterfly attached to this. Uh, these butterflies here are the ones that, that end up flying out. Remember I did a little video on this. Oh my God, my heart's beating so fast right now. This is cheeky little bugger was on the inside here and I guess when I opened it, it would fly out. Ah, <sighs> gosh darn it, okay. So this, oh, so it has spring, so it's spring loaded and then this pops out. Wow, what a cool contraption, honestly. That is pretty neat. So here are the inner mechanics. So there's, there was two locks here. Okay, let's see if we can, let's see if we can wind this back up and put it back in. Oh my goodness, okay. That was, uh, that was something else. So there you go, should we do it one more time? Let's do it one more time. So this here, I bet. This, I gotta pull that, and then this one pulls, this one gets out of the way, and then this one pulls that, and that should fire open, there we go, okay. <laughs> Oh, what a great gag. I mean, to have this as a surprise. Oh God. There you go. That is the a butterfly puzzle. The actual, the cryptic, cryptic, cryptic puzzle. Uh, this was the letter that came with it. So this says intro, read after solving, solve while leaving it on your table. Do not pick up ultra sensitive. The bottom is not part of the solution, but a service hatch if needed. If the gift isn't in your wheelhouse, pass it on. It's how I use all of this beautiful wood. Okay, welcome to Crypsis, a foray into puzzles blended with a little mischief. There's a surprise waiting for you when Crypsis finally opens. If you want to experience the puzzle for the first time, you will want someone to set it up for you so it's ready to play. Uh, it's already been set up, apparently. Puzzle uh, design relies on the power stored in the rubber bands. Flying butterflies easily still found in magic shops. So it's just basically a disclaimer and how to take care of this little butterfly that's on the inside. Regardless, what a cool little puzzle. Nice little puzzle box. Uh, what? Dang. So there you have it, that is Crypsis. Crypsis is uh, is interesting and it scared the living crap out of me. Not gonna lie, I literally, my heart stopped beating for two seconds. Still kind of recovering, you know that adrenaline rush you get after you get the, 
living daylight scared out of you. That's what I'm, I like this puzzle. I think it's interesting and I think what a nice surprise. Kind of reminds me of that fire hydrant puzzle where it also pops out. Uh, so those things are like little extra things that I really appreciate when crafting puzzles. So not only do you get a puzzle box, but you get a really cool surprise in there as well. And maybe a laugh and a scare. Leave a like below, subscribe if you're new here. Wish my buddy Lee a happy birthday. He is now 35, so half of his life is over. F in the chat for Lee, and we'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.